This year, it has felt as though I'm being taught the art of truly surrendering, of leaning into trust even through challenging and uncertain times. I felt my body calling to me to really slow down for a long time now, and as winter gently washed across the land, I was reminded of the beauty that can be found in resting deeply. The trees lost their leaves and the natural world fell quiet. The days became shorter and the darkness bring with it the reminder that everything begins and ends with rest. It is a vital and deeply natural state of our being, yet so often society tells us that resting is lazy or unproductive, that you have to keep up with the never-ending busyness of the world, that if you let yourself fall into winter's cosy embrace, you'll fall behind. But this is simply not the case. What if we looked at winter as the portal into renewal? What if we allowed ourselves to rest deeply and do only what feels nourishing to us? What if we put away our to-do lists and all the worries and pressure and future projects we've been working on and actually allowed our nervous system to soften, to surrender? What if we allowed ourselves to decay, to lay dormant, and trusted that this is the only way to bloom and rise again. I think you'll find, just as I have, that there is so much magic in the mystery and that wintering can be the biggest portal into your wildest dreams. I have always loved creating altars within my home or even in the van, I would do this all the time. There's something so magical about creating just a really sacred space within your home that you can come to and feel at peace and can hold reminders of the energetics that you want to cultivate in your life or just little beautiful things that bring you joy. Like I've got lots of stones that I've collected from walks or some shells from my favorite beaches and yeah, I have like all my sprays and my body oils and just all my favorite little trinkets <laughs> and things that bring me joy. Yeah, I think it's just a really intentional way of crafting more beauty, more romance in your life and also of bringing in the energetics of the season into your home space. So yeah, I've really kind of designed this altar around winter and um, just trying to create a very cozy cocooned space and somewhere I can turn to when I want to feel um, at peace. I just went out and picked some pine, pine leaves and um, yeah this just feels very wintry and cozy to me and also the smell. That just has to be one of the most beautiful smells in the world. Creating altars, especially around the seasons, is something that my mum always did in our homes as we were growing up. So it just feels very like natural and yeah, very homey to me. It feels like she's close by <laughs> when I do this. Beautiful. I also pulled an oracle card before just to really call in any messages that I needed or the energy that I needed to cultivate and I'll put it on display here on the altar but I thought I would read you what it says because it just couldn't be more aligned <laughs> like it was the exact reminder that I needed so the card is metamorphous and it says Lapacho is one of the great protectors of the sacred and she is welcoming you in she embodies one of the faces of the dark goddess in her mighty splendor the dark goddess is multifaceted, challenging belief systems, frailties, weaknesses, and testing our strength. Like Pluto, Lapacho demands you rebel against the ignorance of the old self and learned paradigms that inhibit the splendor of your self-expression. Her mighty darkness provides the tools to rebuild ourselves anew, triggering instant metamorphosis. 
Don't fear the unknown nature of mystery. The cosmic womb in its darkness births all hidden potentials into existence. Trust and step in. You are being guided. I have goosebumps. Every time I read that, I get goosebumps. The cosmic womb in its darkness births all hidden potentials into existence. Trust and step in. You are being guided. to do but just hadn't really had the space to do it while living in the van was create my own scrapbook yeah there's just something so magic about collating all of your favorite images and having them in one place and something that's you know not digital like not on your phone not on your laptop like a physical book that I can flip through for the rest of my days and yeah be able to just reminisce on of these incredible adventures that we have been on I'm just terrified that yeah all our photos are gonna just get lost on my phone on the interweb like <laughs> interweb god how old am I <laughs> I'm turning into a grandma now that I'm in a house I've gone full grandma mode um yeah I'm terrified that they will just get lost into the abyss and you know that's that they're gone so it kind of felt a bit daunting um to try to collate the last three years of our travels into a few photos for the scrapbook and so I decided that for the last three years I would use all of our film photos that we took or that our friends took um along our travels and I'm really just trying to enjoy the process of creating this book it's about really being present with the memories that come up while looking at these photos um, and I've also got some of my old journals so I've been ripping out entries from my journals because I'm someone who's just always written out all of my thoughts into my journal. I have some really incredible little flashbacks into how I was thinking and feeling at the times that these photos were taken for the, all of our adventures and I've just been loving intentionally you know sticking the photos in, putting my journal entries in, making it look beautiful and also just reminiscing on what a life-changing and incredible few years it's been living on the road. I also just want to shout out to Cameron. I think her YouTube is Cam Does It. 
I love her videos so much and that is where I got the inspo to do the scrapbook and to create it like this. She has some amazing TikTok videos and I think she has a full YouTube video on how she makes her scrapbooks look like this. So I'll um, link it up here but definitely check her out if you're wanting to make your own scrapbook as well. My idea was that while I am crafting on my scrapbook this afternoon, I'll do a little scrapbook and story time segment. And um, yeah, I've just got so many stories that I feel like I haven't properly shared on here um, from our travels and just like musings on it all. And I thought it would be really fun to scrapbook and story time. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. <laughs> When I think back to the very start of this journey, I can't help but feel so much love for that brave girl who had a dream and really had no idea where to start or what she was doing, but knew that she needed to follow her heart. At the very start of our travels in our van, we had originally planned to move to Central um, South America and do a van trip over there, but then COVID happened and overseas travel got put on hold. So we decided the next best thing would be to build our own van, even though we had no building experience, and to travel Australia. So we spent another, I think, almost eight months building the van, turning it into the most beautiful little home. There was a lot of blood, sweat and tears that went into creating that home, but by the end of it, we were both incredibly proud of what we had built and honestly I still am I still can't believe um, just how beautiful we made the van we made Oki so then we set off and we said goodbye to all our friends and family all we'd ever known really um, and we knew that we were going to be gone for a long time I just had this gut feeling that this was the start of a brand new chapter and really just a brand new way of living <laughs> so when we first set off we were both like over the moon that we had made it that far for a while there it felt like it was never actually going to happen but after a couple of weeks of traveling I started to just have like a lot of feelings of overwhelm and anxiety I had a lot of questions running through my head about like what have we done like we've just up and left everything we've ever known we quit our job yeah, I guess we had taken a leap of faith because we weren't happy in that living situation but it felt hard to be away from yeah my friends and family from my dogs and to trust that it was all going to work out you know that we were going to find our way on this like unknown road but then in 2021 we moved to Exmouth and that is where we found just like our soul people <laughs> We had this the biggest group of surfers and just general life frothers that we all um, hung out together for about three months and we would have cook-ups on the beach, you know, we went free diving with humpback whales swimming under us. We met our best friends Kendall and Glenn who we ended up starting like a business with and journeying, like adventuring on with for years and it really just felt as though I had had a full death and rebirth cycle I guess you could say having those that overwhelm and those low moods and that anxiety and then coming out the other side and having the universe really truly reward me for trusting and for always just leaning into trust over and over again throughout the last few years I've said to myself and still I trust and still I trust and it is just so wild the journeys that we've had and how far we've come like I never could have imagined it like from the girl that you know built this van and left on this wild trip to the woman that I am now it just I look back with so much pride and yeah we've had some incredible moments a highlight of our time on the road would definitely be the Christmas we had um, with a big group of our soul people we parked up on the beach each couple made cocktails and we played our favorite music and we went for dance walks and we just had the best Christmas ever <laughs> it was our first Christmas away from home and somehow it just turned out incredible
First day on the slopes. There's <laughs> not much snow, but it's pretty average. We're giving it a go anyway. nostalgic feeling already but while I'm in the moment you know when you know that you're going to be looking back on this chapter of your life for the rest of your life and just reminiscing on how magical it was like I feel that so much here and it's made me just be extra present with all the little moments here and really soak it up and enjoy it because it's just the most magical place in the world and yeah I can't I can't believe we're here we live here you know, I went up the mountain skiing today and just had the best time and then came home to this sunset and 